Question. How do you make an open world game linear? Elden Ring is packed with content and encourages exploration instead of just brute forcing your way to the endings, most of which you don't even need to get the achievements. Though through my research making this video, I have stumbled on the fastest 100% I've ever done on this channel. So I invite you to watch the story of how I got every achievement in Elden Ring. This time, I'm going with an astrologer and a golden seed. You better believe I already made a template to go with it. Let's change our name to Charlie Chimpin and we can finish. Something about a bunch of people becoming an Elden Lord. I don't know. All I know is I have a freaking jump button now. I can't, I can't wait to use it. And just because magic is overpowered in this game doesn't mean I'm killing the first boss. Ugh. Woman. <laughs> Where'd she go? I don't see her anywhere. But I did bring with me my collection of tears. So I might as well skip the tutorial and ride up the elevator. I welcome you to the lands between. More specifically, we're in Limgrave. There's a man to greet us, but I prefer to mess with him. Be funny. Do you even comprehend the gravity of this choice? Be funnier. There's a man on a horse that would absolutely destroy me, so I'm going to church instead. You can purchase a crafting kit from Santa here, but I never used it. And towards the north is a grace next to a gate. Resting here reveals the same woman we met earlier. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I love you. She asks if I ever heard of the Finger Maidens and proceeds to call me a virgin. Melina feels so bad for me that she becomes my e-girlfriend and buys me a mount. With this seed to traverse and the first of the map fragments, we can teleport back to the church and meet a doll. We don't need to worry about her right now, though she does give us a summoning bell. And so starts the preparation phase of this video because that first boss is pretty hard. I need to get my strength up to level 10, but in the meantime, if we travel to the south of here, we'll reach a beach with a gold-picked foul foot at the end. Then use the springs to fly back up and head west towards the dragon burnt ruins. There's a staircase to step down and a chest with a trap in it that sends us to a cave. If you head down this cave, you'll find a grace and the exit. This place looks absolutely horrible and one more grace right by to rest at. Melon is back again. Yes, I will go to Round Tabor Hole because that's our first achievement. But there's not anything to do here, so we have to teleport back. Then moving to the west to find some ruins. First is another staircase that houses Rock Sling. Second, towards the back of this area is the Meteorite Staff, which boosts Rock Sling Ligs power by 30%. We can't equip it yet, so we need some runes. Back to the gate front. Follow the road that leads to the southeast, and at the fork, go right, grabbing any graces along the way. After the bridge, you'll find a large carriage with a morning star inside. That's what we're looking for, but we'll keep going for another grace. Teleport to the gate again, and take a left at the fork this time. There's a man asking for help, but I couldn't hear him because I had my AirPods in. You'll find the third Church America here, as well as a flask of wondrous Vizic, a super useful item that isn't even useful right now. There's also a sacred tear that makes our tears replace more. But behind this church is a portal hidden in some shrubs that takes us to another part of Kaelid. You can find a golden seed along the way, but after the two bosses and a grace, you'll climb the cliff to the left and nestle yourself next to this dragon. If you two-hand that morning star, you can start swinging. The normal attacks don't do much, but as soon as the blood builds up, oh, holy shit! It's still gonna take a while, but when she gets low, eat that golden foot, and we'll have a nice 96k runes to do our bidding. And I'll go with 40 intelligence and 18 mind. I'm almost done copying Iron Pineapple. To the gate front, one final time and actually going through it, a golden seed along the row and a rundown house. Grab that stone sword key and there's a crestfall in here. Everyone who came with me, they fought for me, only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken and stuck to the spider. I can't even govern myself to step beyond the bounds of this ward. Please, you're only wasting your strength. <laughs> Please, I'm already wasting my strength. Did you watch my Dark Souls 3 video? You only need 10 human drags, not 30. <sighs> so instead of starting Stormvale Castle, you can actually just go around it to the next area, which is fun. I want to get the map here first. So Sacred Tear, Grace, Map Fragment, and Second Grace. Now I'm going to go back and to the right are some gravestone platforms. It's a far trek until we reach these barricades, and we need to climb to the top of the tower, which doesn't go my way, but when you're done being inept, grab the Carrion Glint Blade Staff, which boosts Glint Blade magic by 15%. Now you can only cast with one staff at a time, but with the Glint Blade Staff, in our left 
left hand, that passive effect carries over to the meteorite staff. That's more damage for us and more exploring to do. We gotta go incredibly far north this time. When you reach the Church of Vows, talk to the uh, turtle and buy magic glint blade. With these two spells, we're ready to own practically everything. But let's start with Stormvale Castle. Our first boss is Margit the Fell Omen, who's all cool and can jump real high, but he is so beneath me. You didn't see that. With him down, that's another achievement. I shall tarnished. I'll remember you too. Oh, hello. Now, I don't know what this guy's talking about. I want that main gate opened. Like, how hard can this be? Ow. Ow. Well, it isn't straightforward. You really have to zigzag, and we need this gate open anyways. The defenses aren't even that sick. Like, no one's even gonna stop me? I'm not complaining, it's just principle. There's a golden seed along the way, and we've reached the fog gate. And our first shard bearer. <laughs> our magic is just so powerful. Even though he cuts his arm, don't do that, kids. It's nothing special. So all these shard bearers have a piece of the Elden Ring. If we want to use its power, or more importantly, grab the achievement, we'll have to go back to the main gate, and there's a pathway to to the right. Oh, and there's some giants here. Thankfully, there's no giants on this side. And to ride the elevator all the way up in between these dead fingers is the power of Godric's Great Rune. That's the third achievement. It's not. It's the fourth achievement. And I don't use these great runes anyways, but a bit ago, we passed these waypoint ruins, which is really dangerous. I, I crashed. This area crashed my game. But hey, don't look at that! Look at the pumpkin head! This stupid fucking pumpkin head! Am I allowed to say that? Well, let's see what's behind door number one! Tarnished, are we? I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Ma'am, I want to learn how to magic. Well, your aptitude does appear passable. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Well, <laughs> that was a lie. I don't want to learn magic from her, but we do need her, so I'll see you later. If you spawn at the Third Church America again and head south, you'll reach a map fragment. But if you keep going, you'll find a fort. There's another golden seed, but at the top of the tower is a half of the Dectus Medallion. Which is nice, but in the meantime, let's go to the Castle Morn Rampart. Another map and another area. Thankfully, this castle is very straightforward. Then you'll find yourself falling down, and then further, and then even further, to find ourselves a boss. I'm like, what a poor dude gets one move in before his death. Cool. Let's go back to the rampart and ride along the wall instead of past it. There's a church at the top of here with a sacred tier. And we need some place to fall down so we can go north to another church. And of course there's another church here, so you know. We're looking for some catacombs. So I'll look for the direction of Grandma and welcome to Zelda. Every one of these rooms has some kind of puzzle, but this one's just don't die to the fire and use this platform as an elevator to a lever that unlocks the boss. He's really easy. And just above us is an Erd Tree Spirit if you want some flask options. But that's all the requirements here, so we'll go back to Liarnia. Oh, the Erd Tree is ever so much closer. We'll need to get into that academy in the distance. There's a gazebo with a portal inside, but the gates are closed. So westward we'll have to go, grabbing this grace, then east at that piece of dry land. This is the Malefactor's Ever Jail, which I didn't realize this was pronounced jail. And killing this thief of fire in the gale gives us one of the many legendary pyromancies. Next to the the village of the Albinarix, or at least what's left of it, and in this corner is a suspicious pot. Please, no! Dear me, no secrets lie with me, not a one. I am Albus. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you, would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. Another half of the medallion, but for the Halig tree. And we'll continue on for another map fragment, as well as a gilded sapling in the ruins of this city. Along the edge of the academy is the key we're after, in the lair of a dragon. But he's asleep, so... Yeah, let's enter this academy of Rhea Lucaria. I mean, obviously it wasn't going to be smooth sailing. No one's safe when the dogs show up, but at least dogs can't jump. And it looks like I'm not meant to be here since there's so much treasure to steal. Running through the halls of this study, we'll find our next boss, the Red Wolf of Rhea. Radagon. I feel like I've heard that name before. And who let a dog into this study anyways? He can't read. Poor dog must be so bored. I know how to help. 
That's, uh, that's another achievement. We can find a hidden path to the right here, and up into the rafters is the Radicon icon, and a golden seed near that horrifying mechanism. Now, the floating staircase has some giant balls to avoid, and a carrion knight waiting for us. Though you're probably missing some flash charges, so the bridge to the left has a nice shortcut to unlock. It's still a long run, but what can you expect with our second shard bearer, Renala, queen of the full moon? <sighs> You get to kill her children, or whatever these things are. She doesn't really fight back, and I'd argue she's not acknowledging us here. Ah, uh, my beloved, I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born forever and ever. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon, and the majesty of the night she conjureth. Well, it seems we didn't kill her. It's an achievement, though, and a way to respec our character. When you return to Roundtable Hold, you're invaded by one of the inhabitants. But more importantly, that crestfallen made her way here. If we ask the blacksmith about Roderica, he'll share that she has a gift for spirit tuning. Then go back to Roderica about it. Then go back to the smith about it. And oh yeah, there is a seed found on the shack where she was. Now Roderica will level up our spirit ashes, but I'd hold up on that. If you want a rapier, talk to this guy, but a new doorway open to reveal... Ugh. Uh, just talk to the old crone for a talisman pouch, and we can leave here. Back to the temple quarter, Grace. Then west to dry land, following the northern path to the ruins with an illusory wall. There's a blacksmith here that I'll talk about in a minute, but sells up to a level 4 somber smithing stone. We need to continue, though, all the way to the Karia Manor, a place I can only describe as my nightmares realized. Thankfully, a church leads us above ground, and these bridges lead to a roof to fall on. Down the ladder is a chest with a legendary sword in. This in mind, we'll have to go back again until the elevator takes us up. Yeah, grab that. But all these stairs takes us to probably my favorite boss in the game, because she's easy, I guess. It's kind of hidden. In the corner leads to the three sisters. The hot one, the smart one, and Hannah Gatsby. One of these towers is Rani's Rise, the one with the grace. All the way at the top is a woman we've met before. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? No reason in particular thou claimest. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani, and search now for the dark path. Has that roused thy interest? I see, a choice well made. I anticipate good work from thee. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Well, that's enough talking for me, and they're forcing me to do this because of this fucking bubble I'm forced to be here till I talk to her friends. So here's Iggy. He's a blacksmith that likes to read. Egghead. This is bled. He calls Ranny mistress. So I guess he's taken. Furry. Finally, is Celibus. He made fun of me, so he's a celibate. Celibus the celibate. Can I leave now? Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. I look forward to the good news when I arise. There's one final achievement boss in this area, and these balloons make great sport and also drop free runes. Northeast we go into a ravine, one gold seed, and finally some dry land. Essentially, we're going up. Up ladders, up lifts. You can make it outside, but there's more lifts than more ladders. Maybe you want some smithing stones so you don't need to buy them later? But come on, we need to go up ladders, some more ladders, and a lift. This is the magma worm that's just kind of lurking here, but nothing too interesting. Oh, hey, a lift. I hope I don't have to see any more these. Ah, the Altus Plateau. We are quite literally only here for this grace. The Erd Tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Erd Tree, and the accord is fulfilled. I was born at the foot of the Erd Tree. My mother gave me my purpose, though now everything is lost to me. 
the reason for which I live burned and bodiless. Well, we're definitely not ready for that urge tree, though I know of a spell that might help us. And check your pockets, because we need two stone sword keys. You can buy some from the merchants in the round table hold. But if you remember that dragon by the temple quarter, just past it is a cave you can find. <laughs> ah! The one bit of light here leads towards the boss is of this place called Staff and Spear. Uh, Rock Slink doesn't do much until it breaks their poise, then the damage is all smooth sailing. Locked up in the highest tower of Rhea Lucaria is Terra Magica. This spell increases our magic damage by 35%, so you know, it's pretty good. Next on the list of upgrades takes us back to the Church of Vows. That minor tree has got half of my Vizic. You know, I don't like the term minor tree. It makes me feel weird. Hmm. Underage tree. Yeah, that's better. Right? Is that just me? Oh, hey, we're here. All right, this magic shrouding cracked here boosts the magic damage by another 20%. One final thing. It's back to Kaelid. And back to Inner Aeonia, there's some ruined city northeast of here. We'll have to find the sapling and parkour to the top of this tower. A seal was broken in the town, and I think I see it. Well, obviously. It's another boss fight, and our reward for it is Lucette's staff, which I'll be main handing whenever I can upgrade it. If you remember when we stabbed a dragon to death, well, we actually have to go back there but there's a map fragment so i mean like now i'm gonna go back there's two things in fort Ferrith, and i don't mean enemies in the chest is the other half of the dectus medallion but down one of these holes is ooh shiny or er, one jump that leads us to the radagon sore seal so let's say we're not getting enough runes this game's golden scarab is along the way as long as you can navigate this route you can't really avoid this scarlet rot so just run to the boss and kill it kill it kill it your health's running low there's another one kill it Next along this road, you'll find a dragon, who I'm not gonna fight, but he's protecting a church. You can do this dragon communion thing with all the dragon hearts, but we need Grail's Roar because that's a legendary one. There's one more piece of the map, a golden seed, and we've made it to Red Main Castle. But you could just use this teleporter to skip all of it, so I'd be mean, cool. Oh no, this is a furry. Don't make eye contact. Champions! Welcome! The festival is nigh! Before we begin, Allow me to paint you the full picture. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog, howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh yeah, it's time for Radon. And I gotta keep talking to this guy until the door opens. It's a long fight, even if things go your way. Sorry, Mr. Meteorite. I feel like taking down a demigod. Whoa, that's bright. So we're back here. Just can't seem to get out of Limgrave. Right next to the Urid tree here is a building with a lift in it. It takes a while, but you'll find yourself in the Sioifra River. There's definitely nothing here until you reach the Grays. But look at this obelisk. You can light a flame on it. It doesn't do anything because we have to find all the obelisks. The second one is just left in an outcove. The third one is in the middle on this island. And then right towards the braziers is number four on the cliff side. Number five is north from here. And on the other side of the river is number six. One more grace, one more cliffside obelisk, and keep going to light number eight. Powers gather somewhere in the horn remains. We can go back and, oh, there was a map here. That probably would have been useful. Now we can enter a moose and kill it. Oh, bye bye moose. This is only half the battle. To Fort Heights, west, we go. That meteor we saw opened a hole into the earth, and as we fall down, we find Nakron, Eternal City. There's a lot of slimes here and other entities, but as we entered Nakron, Eternal City again, grab the bell bearing sitting in the middle. Eventually, you reach the boss gate, but this one is me? Wow, it's like copying all my moves. The Elden Ring. So this bridge is long. Yeah. You should follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, we have more braziers, but first is the grace. I need a stone sword key, so I'm gonna go buy one. But this is nice. I didn't get to do any parkour in Stormvale. Oh, I guess I don't have a tight turning circle. Yeah, cool scenery and stuff. This treasure we're unlocking is the amazing Mimic to your Ashes. He's not too powerful right now, but soon, my boy. Too bad we can only have one. I'd love to see an army of Migamations. Right. 
So how long have Left. you been alive? Yeah, about two seconds. Hey guys. Anyways, we need the Finger Slayer blade and we're out. So same as before, light the torches. There's one by the singing dude. There's one along the path. There's one on the cliff edge. This one's in an altar looking place. And the other side's got one on this cliff and last by the tree. Of course, it's another deer to kill. It feels like the same, honestly, but yeah, we're on what? 13 now? Ooh, yeah. Next is some jellyfish, not to kill, but they lead away. Oh, and just to let you know, Torian can't come here. What? What? How did, wait, wait, what? Why? What? Well, it's pretty much a straight line, and these guys are like the hardest things in the world to kill. Mimic tier and all. It drains the soul out of you, which is probably why there's a coffin here. We'll save this for later because I'm underleveled. The last of Liurnia awaits. We have two more churches. One of them is just along the way. The other is along this path on the right. You know, the one with Lord Sauron in the tower. He's all right as long as he's not looking at you. Past the village up to the church for our tier. And with the two halves of the Dectus Medallion, we rise to the next area. Ooh, so many choices now open up. And the Erd tree looks so big from here. The camp on the right has a stone sword key we need. Then on the other side of the road, we can drop down into a cave that leads to an ever jail. It's not Godfrey, but Godfroy the Grafted. He's dead now, and I have his talisman. So now we're going back to the start, and going north is a seed and bots to not do, as you could fall down some rocks. Continuing this way is another seed. Guys that spawn out of absolutely nowhere, and a keep we're also avoiding. Let's see, there's a MAGA worm to avoid. Uh, this village I can avoid too. Oh yeah, and the subhuman queen Maggie that you avoid because of this grace. But you do want to kill for a memory stone. This guy unfurls his thick hands for comet azure. It's still fucking broken, but I can't even even use it yet. In fact, it's back to the lift again. You can actually just run down the path, the one with the seed in the map. Sadly, our path fell off, so we need to teleport. And guess what? There's a grace under the bridge. This path that has a bridge at the very end is where I'm going. Here, you'll love this. You gotta climb this ladder on the left. It's epic. But don't fret. If you want more ladder gameplay, keep going because there's a ladder. Then two choices. Do you want ladder or ladder? Well, obviously I chose ladder. Hi, merchant. I'm gonna go up that ladder. And at the very top of this one is the boss. You can just skip them though. Golden seed and hanging right here will tell us that we're at Mount Gelmir, which is cool. Since I'm basically cheesing all these bosses anyways, it gets stuck on these hanging crosses and you can just spam rock sling. And finally, we have the last piece of the flask. The hidden tier essentially gives us infinite FP for 15 seconds, which is long enough if you ask me. The proper way to go is the Volcano Manor and hello woman. Aren't you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. So tarnished, have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us? I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. So the key opens this door that... Someone please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Who's talking? Please. Uh, yeah, this room with the fake wall. It's not exactly easy to know where you're going. Press the wrong button. I didn't press the wrong button. I have to go down this way. <laughs> Good job, me. I hope you don't die to this guy and the grace, which I'm very accustomed to at this point. Like Assassin's Creed, it's rooftop jumping until you fall. Hey, man. And into this building, down the stairs, grace. All right, this door opens. Walk past Anakin, who's dying. Then onto the roofs again, up the elevator, kill this guy, and unlock the shortcut. <sighs> God skin noble. Just fuck you. All right, up the elevator, then to follow the lava that looks, uh, it sure does. Into the window and you can grab an elevator that brings us back to the grace, which is nice, but we're just running forward to this teleporter. Now this boss is really fucking hard and I can't do it, so I'll save him for much later. From the Erd Tree Gazing Hill is a valley down here. It leads all the way to the Shaded Castle. The lore of this place is everyone shits in the streets, so for some of you, it probably reminds you of home. For those of us that aren't into that, it's more Assassin's Creed. And you know, it's basically a straight line from here to the elevator. I don't have 60 intellect yet, so I can't use combo de jure, but this mimic tier will have to suffice. All right, who's ready to go to Landell? The big yellow city. The city of... fuck. 
It's a city we've been... Fuck! Fine. We can't really do much here anyways. Hey there, Margit. Yeah, it's good to see you. There's many golden seeds along this road. Two here, two down there with the map. And down this hole is a mine with an illusory wall. The chest in here is the second bell bearing. While we're here, might as well run towards the entrance. Just not going on the road, because these archers are serious business. The tree sentinel stands in our way, and I still can't use comma de jure, so I gotta spam these spells. My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. Well, while Melina does her thing, it's back to the three sisters and this doll. Ah, it is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. Soon must I begin my journey upon the dark path only I may tread. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps, but a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. You may leave now. It was but brief, but thou gavest me fine service. Now this statue she gave us is the key, and to the artist's shack. Down the mountain to the Carrion Study Hall. The statue changes the globe. Like, the entire globe. If you look here, this area is flipped upside down. The water's going up. Huh. And yeah, once you kill everything here, fall down the chandelier, rafters, and a lift. Then open the upside down door, and if you check, it's no longer upside down. There's another fat fuck. You don't need to fight him, and I'm sure as hell not going to. <laughs> He's fucking catching up, dude. Oh no. This is the second tower we've climbed, and this is two items needed. The curse mark of death is required, but the stargazer's heirloom's gonna boost my intellect. So finally, I can use Comet Azure. Eventually, we'll need to replace this meteorite staff. Obviously, these husks will take the bell bearings. But Iggy, at the road to the manor, Grace will sell up to level 4 somber smithing stones. And you only need one. I also got lucky on a level 5 stone drop, but we'll get one soon. Back to Selen, if you remember here, for her quest line. Young Apprentice. First things first, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. I want glinstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. I need your help to restore the primeval current of glinstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Yeah, let's journey together. Splendid. I thank you. Master Lusat is another founding glinstone sorcerer. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? So the Selian Sealbreaker, yeah? Well, if you go to Fort Ferreth and down the spring, well, there's a church. I forgot this was here. But the whole hill is fake! Well, just this part. There are more walls inside, though, and in the water is our seal. Hey, dude. Thanks for the Stars of Ruin. So if you remember Redmain Castle, you can talk to this Fruit Loop, which doesn't really do anything until you rest out of grace. Then you'd probably notice the new boss gate. They're honestly just really hard. And here's your somber smithing stone five. Okay, back to the three sisters. The furthest tower has Celevis, who has gone limp. You could strip him of all his clothing, but he won't become naked. I know, sad. And up his tower is one memory stone, which is not so sad. The last tower we never looked at is also open. In this chest is more clothing. You're essentially raiding Raina's panty drawer. Okay, you creep. Travel to the top of this tower and travel to another location. This is the Ainzel River main. And in front of you is your very own miniature Ranny. If you rest at a grace, you could talk to it. Hello? 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 Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? No. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise, but now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Okay, so we need to find this baleful shadows. Well, you're not. You just give me a somber smithing stone seven. And there's some nice glove worry we need too. All right, I already hate bugs, mainly spiders, but why you gotta put these ants here, man? There's another one of those weird beasts here too, but it's protecting the map fragment for the area. The southwestern side of this area has our grace. <laughs> Here's our next boss who you just gotta kill, man. It looks like everyone here is practicing for choir. Well, now it's back to the river main and the exact same direction, but this time it's not just crumbling ruins. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, thank God they turn on God mode when you open things. Oh, God. Oh, God. Elden Ring's such a terrible place to live that even the giant balls want to kill you. Why? You can't even be envious, ladies. <clears throat> this locust has a level six smithing stone and a right bumper span to grab the moon of Noxtella. Just before we go, I'll go down the elevator and grab the golden seed. You could probably also level up the Lusat staff, probably. I did skip two churches in the Altus. The first is along the outskirts of the city to the southwest of this corner piece, right? The second is from the grand lift and it's pretty much just straight north i don't know you leave me alone so now we can kind of start landell and man is the earth tree really big now it's kind of a cool city but man is it kind of boring i know i'm just running past everything and pretty much every enemy too if only there was like a big dragon corpse on the side of the city oh hey look it's a big dragon corpse on the side of the city and yes we're climbing it into the broken wall that's a grace and that's also a seed this route will lead us to godfrey first elden lord kind of he's supposed to be like a memory or something but all i remember is the achievement before we go up let's head outside and take the elevator down there's this like spear sticking out of the ground that you can climb with uh, the bolt of grand sacks now we'll go back to the boss room and you can climb this route here as well this will lead us to the last boss fight and if you think i can do it right now well ha 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 the mimic tier is getting pretty high level at this point and though i'm not using it right now carrion phalanx and glenstone ice crag are some nice boss specific spells i'm going to use later we should probably talk about this woman now huh Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia, great champion. Would you allow me to hold you? Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. <laughs> sure, you can hold me if you want. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah! You are very warm. Wait, hold on, I'm not done. Hold me again. My dear, could you please find the owner of this dagger? It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. Well, the person that uses this dagger is D. I've never mentioned him, but yeah, he's the dagger man. And when you refresh the area, D is gone. Like he's actually fucking dead. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. I must bid you goodbye as well. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. Our Lord will rise, the Lord of the many and the meek. She just A poses away. Well, you know, everyone wants me to become an Elden Lord, so maybe I will challenge that. I didn't even want your blessing. It lowers my health. And yes, I know we're in Lyurnia for the thousand times, but there's a cave on the edge of this cliff. This cave is really long. All types of elevators and beams to traverse, and it's all worth it because this boss gives us the first miner's bell bearing. <sighs> So a while ago, we unlocked the Great Waterfall Crest Grace in the deep root depths. Well, the roots here are scalable just like Leyendel. One root leads to a cave. And I'm sarcastic and I play up things for jokes, but this is quite literally my nightmares. I do not like that sound. That is freaking me out. I do not like that sound. Another legendary spell acquired. When you continue along the roots, you'll find another grace. Along the path is this area's map, which is pretty useless considering after you climb these roots, the final grace is just right here. All right, this purple swampy water looks like a boss fight. Oh, Oh, wow, would you look at that? I'm so surprised. He has a lot of champions, it seems. So. Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? Look, I'm a beta male, okay? You are an odd one. <laughs> yes, I am. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead. You are my, our, true champion. Can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Aw, in the end, it's Fia that wanted to hold me. But she friendzoned me and is cucking me with this giant. I don't even know what it is! So yeah, I'll rest at this grace and... What? You want to bear children? Well, I'll show you what for as I rest at this grace again. And she fell asleep. Now, normally I would advise against touching women in their sleep. Because if you do, you'll wake up in hell! And the sky will be made out of holes! And you'll have to fight the dragon! You have to kill him because he knows what you did. Fort attacks, I bid you a fair deal. Okay, now that we admitted ourselves to the dark side, let's summon our maiden in Leyendel. Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? I don't know, my maiden wants me to. Godric the Golden. I killed him, I think. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. One of those is already dead. General Radan. Okay, that one I fucked up. Traitor Rikard. Who? Okay, look, you're gross and you talk a lot, so let's hurry this up. Besides, I haven't used common as your enough. Wait, keep standing still. Keep standing still. Bro, get pwned. Wow, this is even easier than I thought. I'm already at the Erd Tree. What? Wait, no, what? Melina, 
What's going on here? You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? The thorns are impenetrable. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. <gasps> Even if I wish it were true, this game's not that short. In fact, there's like five areas I haven't been to, which is its own blessing and curse, I guess. And I'm not very good at explaining myself. But to be fair, I didn't want to stretch this bit out. I would just say go up in the elevator, then immediately go down the other elevator, which doesn't even make much sense. Like, how does this just send us to a snow area? This place certainly doesn't favor the free cam I've been using this whole time. Ooh, golden seed. Wait, hold on. Wait, you're telling me after going on the elevator rides, I didn't even get to the elevator ride? Man, I really hope you can see at the top of here. No, oh, I guess you can. Where's the map when you need one? Oh, speak of the devil. Ooh, okay, ruins. I actually need something here. Hmm, I'm looking for a staircase. All right, that looks right. Miner's bell bearing three. Sweet, just one more. And I promise I'm actually grabbing these for a reason. All right, back to the waffling. Honestly, it's either this or me just telling you go this way or go that way. So really, you should be thanking me. Whoa, chill. Okay, at the end of this bridge is a locust that has a somber smithing stone eight. And of course, there's finally a grace to rest at. Still more horseback riding to do, though there's another seat to the right here, and as well as another grace as you continue north. Mm, I want to be upgraded, so first I'm crossing the frozen lake. I don't care about your boss fight, I just want this sacred tier at the church. I'm going back to the grace, but then the opposite way this time, and someone decided to put giant skeletons here, so the main road's off limits. Another boss I'm just gonna avoid, and this castle soul. Or maybe that's soy. And there's a bunch of femboys hanging around here. No. Don't be stupid. The only thing here is the Eclipse Shuttle and the boss coming up. Well, to complete the trifecta, you also have to grab the Haleg Medallion, so look forward to that. I also know this Deathrite Bird isn't required, but he drops so many runes that I just can't pass them up. One last thing. In this graveyard, you should see a broken bridge. It's actually just missing its textures, which I hate, well, but it's just a straight line, and ever so often snow will land on the curved stairs, which is honestly just A-U-G. Ugh. How did I fuck that up? Like all the other towers, an elevator will lead to another legendary spell. With that being said, the rest of this is just a straight line to the next map fragment. Anything you gotta say, Melina? We're almost there. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent. Thank you, Torrent. Well, okay, I think I'm a little cooler than this horse, but yeah, whatever, man. There's still more churches to find, and this one has an evil weeb. Around the boss area is another grace, but if you keep going, you can grab a seed, too. Yep, it's everyone's favorite guy, loincloth made from beard man. Besides being annoying, he's also annoying. So I feel no recompense as I use Common Azure to absolutely cheese the second phase. Goodbye, you literal giant asshole. Now, I know what you're thinking. This forge of giants is looking pretty empty. Nice observation. Melina, I did your mission. I'm ready for whatever you're about to do. This world is in dire need of repair and death indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? No, not the Bill Cosby trick. You shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside Flay shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. And that's when I awoke in modern day Greece.
If you're like me, you don't want to be in Greece for any moment more than you have to. So let's get our ass to the grace and slash TP out of here. When you go to round table hold, you'll notice that it too is also on fire. Yeah, and most of these guys are dead now. So I'll ask you, do you really care? I also forgot there's a memory stone in the shop, so fuck me, right? And the grand lift of rolled can be used again as we hoist the secret medallion. May I say, I do not like this area. These catacombs, just skip them. I'm not fighting them. I just want the grace. The outside blizzard, where you can't see anything, you basically have to follow these lights on the ground, because I don't want to take my chances on enemies I cannot see. Eventually, you'll escape the blizzard and can grab the map. Since we need a grace right now, go to the city nearby and have a little rest. You'll need two stone sword keys, by the way, so the first order of business is to backtrack to this frozen lake. The cave entrance will be on our left here. The cave is all cool with the reflective floor. One bit of parkour gets us a big ol' rune. The other sends us further down the rabbit hole and even further at that. Then you'll need to kill the, I think, third cat now for this legendary sword. Next is the actual Everjail at the village. Oh my gosh, this is the worst thing ever. All the melee enemies here are invisible and will one-shot you if you pick up anything. There are four shrines here that we need to light. This first one's pretty simple, just climb a ladder. And honestly, you're probably gonna die because I forgot about these archers. They snipe you from a million miles away and have more health than any other mob in the game. This is essentially just brute force your way through the this bit, and the second tower is just as straightforward. Then you'll have to dodge a volley of arrows and slowly whittle away at the archer standing in front of you so that you can light the third shrine. And the fourth one is just down in the courtyard. Congratulations, you unlocked Mikola's Halig Tree. Again, we're too underleveled for this area, so there's another area to unlock here. Almost exactly west from the Grace, you'll get invaded by a sanguine noble, who's a lot harder than you think, but when you kill him, you can use a teleporter just further that unlocks Mogwin Palace, which most people know is the area to farm runes. It's a bit trickier with only magic because you have to bait the chicken with a rock sling cast before you can hit it with another rock sling cast. There's all these guys too, but eh. The only other thing to know is there's a hero's rune and a glove ward 8, and just don't go on the road or you'll die. You're forced off your mount and you get a map of the area. Again, this is a very straightforward area, though in the dark is another rune and glove ward 9. You'll finally find the light, which is a grace, yeah? With the two upgrades, Terra Magica and the Flask to boost Comet Azure, I give you a man who stole another man inside an egg, who's also entirely made of blood. Here we go! Awesome. On top of this cleanup, there's one more area in Noxtala. Instead of going up the stairs, just walk along the water until you reach the elevator. We never did help Ranny, and this is where the Baleful Shadow is. Beautifully formed. Thanks. My thanks. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Yeah, sure. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. So what, she's dead? I honestly don't know. But hey, welcome to the Lake of Rot. It's a lake, and it's rotting. You're probably gonna rot too. As much as these platforms are nice to rise, you still have to run to the grace before you succumb to the rot. You must feel like a Tomb Raider right now, and instead of actually going into the tomb, how about you crawl into that box that's gonna fall down the river, Grandma? Thankfully, there's no more rot, and this Astel has a small room. Poor guy put up a skybox to make his home seem bigger. Well, uh, okay. I forgot about the seal. If you go back to Rhea Lucaria and open the chest in the library, you get a ring. And what do you know? Now it's open. It takes us to the Moonlight Altar. It's so beautiful. Except for the burning tree. A dragon just materializes here, but I mean, like, who cares? You should be able to find a hole to fall down here. Oh my god. That's Ricky Berwick's hand. Here's your ring, queen. You dropped this. So it was thee who would become my lord. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Well, I hope so. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot to grab Dark Moon Great Sword. So, uh, this is, as you can tell by my health, there's a lot. Oh, later. Uh, thanks, past me. There's one final reused tower in the area, which is down, way down in the plateau. And it's bugged. Like, quite literally bugged. The puzzle for this one requires us to find three giant ethereal turtles. Though they don't always spawn, which is why it's bugged. You may see one on the right side of the entrance. 
You might not. So you probably want to spam the book prompt. Oh, and don't use a grace either, because that also breaks it. The second turtle is found back the way we came, right next to the Everjail. You should see it floating in the sky next to the spirit spring, which you'll have to use to kill it. And even though I didn't do anything, the final one didn't spawn. So I might as well use the grace at the tower, spam the book again, and ride east. Oh, and would you look at that? The turtle spawned this time. As you can imagine, you have to ride the elevator and open the chest at the top. Oh, okay, we, we, that was fast. Yeah, wow, that really was all the sorceries and incantations. All right, now it's time for the Hallig Tree. It has this cool game function of instead of climbing a tree, we're going to descend it. You need to descend it a lot. You know, sometimes you need to climb a ladder, but that's definitely a rare exception. After some rooftop jumping, you can find an elevator shortcut. And where will we be without another boss? Who's also the same Loretta as a long time ago, so make of that what you will. Thankfully, descending is a lot simpler now. And at the top of this tower is one ancient dragon smith stone for a final upgrade. Now you use the elevator. You'll need another stone sword key, by the way, but I welcome you to the city of Elfail, a wondrous city of rafters and awful tree spirits, who I do not like, but is patrolling the somber dragon smithing stone for another type of upgrade. And you can fall on the building here that houses the legendary Merica Sore Seal. Then again, we'll need another item that's accessed from a separate rafter, the one next to the gazebo. This knight is guarding a chest with a clean rot knight Finlay ashes, but we can continue along this path and another somber smithing stone if you need it. There's another tree spirit this way we'll have to get past, so clench your butt cheeks and pray. Not because of the tree spirit, but what's coming. You'll find we can walk along more routes. These ones lead to a sewer. Blech. And yes, more routes. We are descending a tree after all. We want to get on top of the roof. You can actually kill most of the things through a hole here. And fall down said hole and open the chest. Just below us is an elevator and the end of all things holy. It is possible to kill Melania now, but this is another case of I'm suck and we're moving on. Back to the crumbling ruins. All the same, you're just trying to go down. Yeah, fuck off. I'm too popular for you. There's a lot of graces in the area too. After the third one, you can get the fourth bell bearing. Now just fall, 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 fall. Too far. Well, fuck. I fell too far, and now I have to climb back up. Or did I? I found a golden summon on the ground. I'm not gonna use them anyways, because how do you counter the godskin duo? Mexican dose. I mean, he's getting his ass kicked. But hey, that's both of the bell bearings. And oh my god, that's a lot of souls. What a brief respite. That was cool and all, and now it's more falling down, falling down. There is more that goes more down. I hope I don't f fuck. So I have a question. Do you hate America? I'm quite partial to it myself, which makes this awkward because I'm going to kill every single fucking eagle I see. They're not exactly powerful. I'm killing them with pebbles, but they're everywhere and they die everything. This one just came out of nowhere. Like, no, I don't want to listen to your rap song. No. Would you believe I'm not attacking this dragon either? Of course I'm not. Why would I? You also need a level five bell bearing at the altar. I don't know why so many are here. And the great awesome elevator that you might become accustomed to. Comment azure, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck E. Cheese better be called Chuck because this cheese is more cheesier than cheese. But now I have to go back to the graves because I used my flask. Okay. Who's loitering the boss room? Come on, beast clergyman. Show me who's really behind the mask. Wait, Wait, what are you doing? No, 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 stop it. No, I don't want to fight you now. Malaketh, the Black Blade. Yes, he is black. I don't know why you're telling me this. I'm astonished. I cover destined death to kill what? I don't know what that means. But everyone keeps telling me to become a lord, so I killed you. Oh, no. What is it? Why does it look like that? No! The Rune of Death is unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. Farewell it is then. You'll be Elden Lord yet. Wow, would you believe it? The whole capital is covered in ash. You're probably thinking, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Volcano Manor. They like me now, apparently, and they let me go into one of the rooms, and there's two items I need, too. Though I don't care about the latter. And it seems like a good time to kill Rykard. Like Yorm, you'll have to use the special Serpent Hunter weapon, and the Mimic Tier will, too. No magic was used in this fight. No, sir. Oh. 
Ew. This one's hard boss seems so trivial now with how much we've grown since starting the playthrough. This was pure hard-earned skill that decided the victory today. Feels like I got lucky here. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, okay. So everyone at the Volcano Manor is a little upset that we killed their lord. But you shouldn't be worshipping a snake anyways, you sinful muppet. Also, make sure you talk to this guy for a bit. And hey, we haven't been to the round table hold in a while. Also, since we have those bell bearings, we can upgrade Lusat's staff all the way. It's not a perfect staff, so I'm also leveling up the Glint Blade staff as well. We're not done in Azula anyways. There's a whole extra area if you go the opposite direction of the boss. Falling down to the walkway and you should get invaded. He has no dialogue. So, yeah, thank you for your legendary stuff. And in the room he was protecting is another talisman. All right, this time we're getting accustomed to this elevator, like I said. It's such a nice boss run for this. You'll have to go outside and drop down each of these stone platforms. There's one little patch we can lie down in. If you're wondering what's in that tornado in front of us, it's only Dragon Lord Placidus Sax in the Colosseum of fuck knows where. Thankfully, it's another Comet Azure boss, and only a Comet Azure boss. Touched grass. Now, there's no avoiding it. Meladia's next, and here's my best plan. Using Renala's soul, you can transmute her staff that boosts moon magic, which we'll have in our offhand, and we need to upgrade our glint blade staff to level 25. And with two spells, which are Stars of Ruin and Rani's Dark Moon, we can then go to the Haleg tree, and with these two things, with the Snow Witch hat on, and a bunch of Cerulean Tears, one flask of Wondrous Physic, that should be just enough to fight her. Her. And I have never known defeat. Yes, you have. 35% of people have your achievement. Though I never considered myself to be a guide for these games, I will do for this fight. See, obviously the big thing with Melania is her waterfowl dance, but if you always keep your distance, you can run away for the first two volleys, then the third, you actually run towards her and dodge. It's really just about patience, honestly, and right before the final hit, summon the Mimic tier. God damn it, Melania. You're pissing me off here. Wait. You will witness true horror. Now, rot. Of course, it's not over. Melania is going full Pokemon on us. Besides some new moves, it's basically the same fight. And with just enough flask to spare, please. Woo! Thank fucking God. I've been stuck on this guy for like three hours. Well done. That was the final boss of this cleanup. And all that's left is our unfinished business in Leyendel. Mel and his actions covered the city in ash. And as we set foot to the Erd Tree, we're stopped by Sir Gideon Offnir. He is no fighter and certainly not a demigod. Even so, he'll risk his life to protect the throne. But he's not the only one. It's been a long while, Morgoth. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, fight as he must, but it's not enough to end this. That will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh. Just horror, Lou.
one final fight and through the newly burned roots into America's chamber. But something's not right. Something's wrong. Because this is Mirica no longer, but Radagon of the Golden Order! Something stirs within Radagon, and it's alive. Battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal, Can we just take a moment?
and say, I finally got a woman! Oh, how exciting. I did leave a bunch of things for cleanup. So before we go into New Game Plus, we gotta finish that. The first is in Radon's boss arena. Along the beach and towards the cliff is a door to the catacombs. One of like 500 of them, but it's pretty fast. There's really only one direction you can go. The windows are open too. The one you want has a statue you can see through it, and it leads to a second window with a lever that opens the boss door. It's not exactly easy, but that's why I left it for last. The next catacomb is by the ramp part side path. You know, right there. A black knife assassin is in the way, but you know how to deal with it. This area is kind of a ball ache. The shadow people need the first light they've seen in years, and there's a lot of shadow people. Thankfully, everything dies in one hit, so this ambush, easy. But remember where this circle is, because when you climb this ladder, you'll meet up with the silhouette of Mama. Mama needs to see the light, and with Mama dead, the boss door opens. Don't ask me how any of that makes sense, but hey, at least this boss is really easy. Alright, as I said before, I wanted to use the Carrion Phalanx spell. Back to the Moonlight Altar, and the single Everjail there is Electo Black Knife Ringleader. It's like finding Melania, and the Phalanx is the only spell that works on him. With him dead, I've acquired every legendary Ashen Remain. Finally, and it depends on how you want to get there, I'm going from the Forbidden Lands bonfire and backtracking down both the elevators. There might be a lot of tree spirits, but walking along the edge is enough to sneak around them. This one bit of tree has our final talisman. And that's all we had to do for new game. Back to round table hold to start the next journey. Of course, the main reason we're doing this is the other endings, but we can skip a long portion of the game. So without skipping a beat, kill the grafted scion, or don't, doesn't really matter. Die, open the door to Limgrave, make your way to Stormvale. I already heard this conversation, shut up. Kill Margit like you hate him. Open the gates. Find and kill Godric the Grafted. Proceed through Lyernia and end up at the Ray Lucarian gates, but we don't have the key. So run along the edge of the academy and steal from the dragon. Avoid everything like the plague, up the elevator and kill a dog just to piss off the vegans. Avoid the bowling ball of death, then fight Ranala in her moon chamber. Oh no, we don't have the deck this medallion. Fort Height is a simple one. You have to ride all the way up to it and open the chest. The church with the flask of Vizic has a teleporter in the garden. Use it to make the journey to the other fort that much quicker. Now the Rea Lucaria gate has a seal that takes us across the bridge. The long road leads to the lift. How much do we have to do here? None of it. Just make your way to Leyendel. You know how to deal with this guy. Now we're in the city. Jump, duck, and dive past the spirit tree. Climb a dragon, just cause. That leads us to the roots that leads us to the golden man. And the roots lead to Morgoth. The tree is closed for Labor Day, so talk to Melina. Thanks for the medallion. I'm gonna shove it right up your elevator. Well, not the elevator that takes you to the elevator, but the elevator. It's now really cold. And in Snow Day tradition, we're going ice skating. The Spirit Spring makes this journey so much faster, but the thing that really doesn't is the giant, who just exploded on me. Tell Melina to kill herself. It's okay, she's emo. Now we're in the ruins of Venezuela. Do the falling stuff again, then cry, because these two will always be taller than you. More falling and eagles. Watch out for that bad dragon. Elevator. Do that thing again, I showed you. Furries do not belong in Venezuela. Now stop. This part's new. You might have noticed that there's a sewer in Leyendel. Well, yeah, that's not surprising, but it's very confusing. This grate, isn't it great, is the main tunnel. I didn't mean to fall down the hole. So I have to keep running forward past this gate. Isn't it gate? And clear a path through all these slugs. Well, fuck. I also didn't want to fall down this hole either. It means it's through another pipe. Past the doorway to a ladder. That's the door to the next area, but open the gate too in case you die. Immediately fall off the edge and keep going until you reach the stairs. There's a doorway that leads to another ladder and he's somehow climbing it. Another door that leads back to the grace and the opposite way leads to a series of pipes. We need to get to that door and jump down the hole in one of the pipes. And you should see a rat down here. Follow it until it gives up, and for once, that's a hole that you want to fall down. One final ladder and down the elevator to fight the secret boss. Hello, Mog. <laughs> nice to finally meet you. But that's not all. Abyss Watcher's style, the shrine opens up, and a falling puzzle. Well, that seems fitting. When you can survive the fall, the floor caves in and leads to a door. The only way to open it is to take off all your clothes, nice and slowly. You, you don't. And don't mind my back hair. What's here but, oh... Three fingers. Oh, he burned my vet. Oh, I'm all fucking burnt and shit. Oh, ew. Look like a hot dog that was cooked too long. <laughs> We're done here. Remember how we have to kill like four bosses now? Well, this guy's not really a boss. But now we could summon Chabriri for Borlu for some reason. Then you can kill the Elden Beast. Yay. Jeez. Now you get a million souls. Oh, and by the way, you're evil and corrupted with the frenzied flame. So when you touch Radagon, you, um, 
you die. And now you have no head. Look at you. You're so evil. Is this the tree of someone who's not evil? Yeah, you're evil. Okay, who's ready for round three? <gasps> Kill the Scion again, but this time grab the Dectus Medallions to make it a little different. Kill Margaret for the hee hees. Also kill Godric. Now it's Lyernia, but this time grab the key first, then enter Rhea Lucaria. Kill a little red riding wolf. Also kill the divorced mom. The lift now works. Leandel. Kill a horse rider, and this door doesn't open because I didn't go to round table hold. Now that it's open, I could kill Golden Frey, and then kill Morgoth. The Ur tree is still not open. To the snow place with all the snow. Nothing happens until you kill the fire giant, and fuck me right in the- Melina, use burn yourself. Now it's Detroit, baby. Tweedledum and X, formerly known as Twitter, one final cheese because I'm getting bored. No, room service will not provide you with a litter box. So back to Leandel, kill him, man. Kill an actual guy. <sighs> All right, finally, we place Radagon's head on his shoulders, and this is our final ending. Oh, a man of magic and anger issues is the simple ending of a lord on his throne. Oh, and follow me on Twitter.